And it says, I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places, yeah. that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, was called thee by thy name, the God of Israel. In Genesis chapter 1, Genesis chapter 1, I want to read verse number 1. It says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Watch this. It says, And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Treasures in darkness. Can I tell you this morning that I'm fired up about Jesus this morning? <laughs> but can I tell you there's nothing more than what the devil wants to do is to darken your zeal for the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Darken your excitement for the Lord. Hey, I know we all got to go home. We all got to get face hard times. And Miss April was talking about this morning. She's going through a storm. Nothing more than the devil wants to do than the, to cast that love out for God. And praise the Lord for this. Hey, he can't get rid of your salvation. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord for that. But what he wants to do is break God's heart. He, yeah. wants to, he knows he can't take the salvation from you, but he wants to get you in such a storm, in such a way that you turn your back on God. But can I tell you this morning, when you're going through the storm, when you're going through the hard times, hey, can I tell you, God's always there. He loves you never leave you nor forsake you. Can I tell you that he works, and he, his best work is in the dark. His best work is in the darkness of life. When you're going through the storms and the trials of your life, can I tell you, he can bring treasures in the darkness. He can bring the treasures in the darkness. What a great God we serve this morning. That will do that. I want to let you know that my first point is God cares. God cares. It's simple this morning. I'm so glad God cares this morning. It breaks God's heart every single time we have a broken heart. Every single time we shed a tear. Every time we're going through something, God cares. And Acts 9, 14, Jesus was talking to Saul. He said, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Because Saul was persecuting the believers. You know what that tells me? That God took it personally that his Christians were going through yeah. things. God takes it personally when you're going through storms. When the devil's attacking. The devil's doing everything he can. God takes it personally. And what a great thing to know that God's on my side. That's a blessing to know that whatever I'm going through, God's bigger than that problem. God's bigger than that storm. God's bigger than any trial. Any darkness that's going to come in my way. God's way bigger than that. What a great God we serve this What a great God we serve I remember when I'd be in school and, and I uh, I always hang out with the biggest guy at school. You know why? Because bullies would come or people would try to mess with me. Hey, I'm going to be hanging out with the biggest guy at school. Yeah. Nobody's going to mess with me if I'm hanging out with the biggest guy at school. But if Brother Clint was here, I'd be hanging out with him. Yeah. Nobody's going to bother me if I'm hanging out with Brother Clint. Yeah. That's the same thing it is with God. Yeah. How big God is and how great God is. Hey, the devil can try to do everything he can, but I got God on my side. Yeah. I don't care what he does. I don't care what he yeah. goes yeah. on. six years old that Jesus Christ spoke to me in my heart and said, I need to be saved. Yeah. And by the grace of God, I got yeah. saved that night. Yeah. I'm so glad that he's still in the same business. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad that so far we've had four people saved. Yes, yeah. by the grace of God. Amen. What a great God. Amen. What a serve. Yeah. What a great God to serve. That how, God, how much God cares about us. How much God cares about us. What a great thing that is. That he took our place. We don't deserve that. We don't deserve that. He came to die for us, go for the joy that he endured the cross. But what a great God that he cares for us. God cares for us this morning. Yes, but secondly, God creates. Yeah. God creates something out of the nothingness of life. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, this gets me excited. I can't put it into words. Help yourself, I remember when I'd be going through storms in my life, in the darkest times of my life. And I'm like, what in the world is going to happen? What in the world is going to change? There's, I, there's no way I'm getting out of this thing. I started thinking about the Bible, all those people that Jesus healed. Yeah. I started thinking about that leper. One day he was with his family, just having a great time. The next day he was diseased. And nobody wanted to be around him. One day he's with his friends. One day he's having such a great time. And the next thing you know, he's going through the biggest battle of his life. Yeah. The big, biggest storms of his life. He's sitting there watching everybody hug everybody else. And nobody wants to touch him. He's sitting there 
sitting right there watching everybody have such a great time and enjoying the Lord and just doing their own thing, but he's sitting there with leprosy. Nobody wants to be around him. Nobody wants to touch him. And how much he cherished wouldn't let the touch him again. Him having that disease. Yeah. And I wish somebody to hug me again. Yeah. I wish somebody touched me again. And he's in the darkest time of his life. I started thinking about the lame man. He's laying there, watching everybody walk by, yeah. everybody running, everybody jumping up and down, wishing he could use his legs again, wishing he could do all these things. He's in the darkest part of his life. Amen. I started thinking about all these people, but the next thing you know, God stepped in. Yeah. Yeah. God saved their life. Yeah. 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 That storm. Oh, watch out. There's a chair over there. I want you to run into that. There's a storm right there here. I'll, I'll lead you through the storm. That's good, brother. I'm so glad that God's always there for me. Yeah. I'm so glad that when I'm going through a storm, Jesus can lead me. It says in Psalm 23, Go on, man, me in the great shepherd. I'm so glad when I'm going through the storms in my life. Hey, when I'm going through the darkest times in my life, Jesus is always right yes. there with me. Yes. What a great God we serve. What a great God we serve. Yes. Amen. I remember when I was going through the darkest, one of the darkest times in my life. I was wanting to look for the right mate. And I was, I, you can, I could date all I wanted to, whatever, but I wanted to see, I wanted to be serious about it. I wanted the right person in my life. And I started praying and I got discouraged. I said, God, I just want somebody. I'd go hang out with Dylan and Dixie. I'd be the third wheel. <laughs> and they, they, you know Dylan and Dixie, they always hug and kiss and all the time. You can't even get a word in. And I got so upset. I was like, God, please give me somebody. I want to serve God with somebody like that. I want to have the right person in my life. I went to camp meeting and, and I, knew, I knew she was coming. I said, God, me and my mom had talked about it before, week before camp meeting. I cried to her. I, I know that's embarrassing to say. I cried in front of my mom saying, God, I just, Mom, I just want somebody. I want somebody to live my life with, somebody godly. I started praying. I prayed about it hard that night. A week later, she ends up coming to camp meeting. And I prayed about it, and God confirmed it. And I, got, I can't even tell you how excited I got. Because God brought, out of the darkest time in my life, God brought a treasure out of my darkest time in my life. When I thought I didn't know, I didn't know I was going to make it, I didn't know I was going to get through this, God said, hey, watch this. 
Yeah. I, I care less. So I said, yeah. And he showed up and he showed out. That what a great true. God. And he truly brought a treasure in my darkness and he could bring it into yours. Wow, I can do that.